Greetings and salutations. Happy New Year and welcome to 2022, everyone. My name is Brian, if you're new around here, and we've got a lot to cover, especially as it relates to Yoshi P's yearly New Year's tradition. Uh, every year, if you guys are new to Final Fantasy XIV on New Year's, he posts a letter to the community as well as a prophecy of what is to come. So in a way, this is really the start of the next 10 years of Final Fantasy XIV. So what we'll do, because this is gonna be a relatively short post, I'll include the link if you just wanna go read it for yourself and news on that, but I will read it to you and then we'll just have a little discussion about what it means and what we hope to see. Now, I have yet to finish Endwalker at the time of this recording. However, I'm getting fairly close, but I can assure you having read this letter, there isn't anything that's going to spoil what you have yet to experience as we look forward to the next 10 years. This is just something I think that I really appreciate about him as he steps into his 12th year uh, with the game itself. So let's go ahead and dive in. And as always, I thank you guys so much for being here. Your support means the world to me. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in. Happy New Year to all you Final Fantasy XIV years out there. This is producer and director Yoshi Anoki Yoshida. Though we regrettably had to delay Ed Walker by two weeks right before it was originally slated for release, it was on December 7th that the expansion finally went out into the world, a conclusion to the saga of Hydaelyn and Zodiac, which began all the way back in 1.0. It's now even a full 11 years since I came aboard Final Fantasy XIV, and I feel that I've put everything I've had into this expansion. I'm certainly curious to know what sort of an impression it has left on you. Setting aside game content, the large influx of players around the world since mid-year and the impact of COVID-19 on the supply and server equipment have led to extremely long login queues. And I'd like to sincerely apologize again. We're currently working on fundamentally address the situation, such as adding logical data centers and increasing the number of worlds in all regions. And we ask for your patience in the meantime. Now then, as the title suggests, Endwalker winds up the tale that has been woven since 1.0. However, Final Fantasy XIV itself is far from over, and we've already begun creating new journeys for all you warriors of light, or adventurers, rather, to embark upon. As a matter of fact, just as I was thinking about the next adventure, I noticed that a piece of paper had been left on my desk, and what should be written on it but another poem. So wanes the moon before the sun, its journey ended come at last, so look now we to the days ahead unfettered from our trying past and this is from the memoirs of a reconciled man having welcomed the dawn's rebirth taken to azure size liberated the land stained crimson restored darkness to a light flooded world and now standing with the waning moon at their backs our adventurers set their sights on a new beginning well that's my take on the words anyway Final Fantasy XIV has surpassed 10 long years of operation, a goal that all MMORPGs should aspire towards. And now we set our sights on 10 more. With the first step of this new leg being of our journey is in patch 6.1, ahead which we will take the opportunity to share our plans for Final Fantasy XIV's future. So please look forward to it. It's crazy to think that 2022 marks my 12th year at the helm of 14. Sometimes I can't help but be amazed that I haven't gotten bored with it. But then there's so much more I want to achieve with Final Fantasy XIV. As I previously said, I consider it my life's work and I hope to continue developing and growing the game with all of you. Endwalker is the culmination of everything we've built over the 11 years, and I'm well aware that it'll be extremely difficult to surpass. But just like your adventures and the efforts the development and operations teams will continue to build on our wealth of tales and experiences and emotions and endeavor to reach new heights. Again, I wish you a happy new year. And I thank you for your continued support, Yoshi P. So what does this mean to me? Like I've been here uh, step in step with Yoshi P when he took over the helm. I remember reading the first New Year's greetings from him when he first took over the game itself. And I have to say, that's why I stuck with it. His first letter to the community signaled a radical shift, a radical change in how Square Enix conducted business. I can't if you were there with me, if you, any of my fellow 1.0, you know, play, beta players out there, sound off in the comments uh, and let me know what your experience was with that letter. I remember it very vividly. I was in Arkansas visiting my sister and brother-in-law for the holiday, for the New Year. So we celebrated. And I remember waking up and rolling over and checking as I was wont to do, because I was constantly checking the lodestone for updates and i saw this letter and i read it and i was like instantly impacted by it 
uh, from an emotional perspective, but from a, an excitement perspective, because we had just heard of the big shift, the big change after the struggled launch at 1.0. And I was like, okay, okay, I'm going to stick with this game. I'm going to see how this plays out. And it's all because of that first letter, that first New Year's greeting. So this is something very sentimental to me. Now, if y'all been watching my journey through Endwalker, I have yet to get finished, but I've just made significant progress. That VOD is up. I'm not gonna say where I'm at. I know I can say the second trial without ruining anything. Just finish that and wow. Just wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I have to say that uh, what I think is going to happen, obviously from this poem, what I look ahead for the next uh, 10 years, what I hope to see happen is to see a blending more uh, of MMO elements brought into the game. And at the same time, Yoshi P's talked about bringing more into the trust system and things of that nature in a way that blends both the single player game and the MMO in a way that kind of invites new players into the experience. Players who are afraid of MMORPGs, players who are afraid of uh, these experiences, especially having to interact with people and letting them have like a, like a single player experience and then inviting them into the MMO. I, I, we've seen that happen every expansion after every expansion. And having yet to finish the game, I've said this for multiple years, I think probably going on six or seven years by now, six, we'll say six, is like, it feels like they've been working on something big and it isn't necessarily the story. A lot of people come back and they're like, oh, it was Shadowbringers. Oh, it was, you know, Endwalker. It's like, no, 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 you don't, you don't understand how big I'm thinking. I think they've continually been working towards something massive in a way, you know, something that is, when you look at the game, you kind of look at like, here is this era, here was the Zodiac Hydaelyn era, and they've been building up to a new era. And that's just what I felt. So a lot of the things and every over the course of the years, the things that have been revealed continue to reaffirm that. You can go look at some of my archives, like what's up with the moon and <laughs> as my voice cracks and things of that nature. So uh, at its core, um, I think Yoshi P and as players of this game uh, should be very excited about the next 10 years, a 10 year commitment is often not believed right now by me with other companies, right? Like if this was anybody else, I, I would say, show me, you know, but they've already just shown me. They've done a 10 year stint and they're like, we're going to do another. We're re-upping for another 10 years. Let's go. And then even over in the Final Fantasy 11 crowd inside of things, and that's a video that I hope to prepare. I've got a lot of videos I'm looking forward to getting to you guys here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, they talk about how cool would it be to celebrate 100 years of Final Fantasy 11. And so when it comes down to it, I have high hopes and expectations about the future of Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy Online, and not even to mention Final Fantasy 16. It's going to be an amazing year, guys. I say Happy New Year. I'm going to do a dedicated uh, 2022 post uh, soon, so just kind of keep an eye out on the channel for that. Uh, thanks, everybody, for listening to my random thoughts uh, this great and early morning. Hopefully you guys had a safe and happy new year. I hope to see you guys in my next video, but for Ginger Prime, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being awesome. You legends, for you subscribers out there, you guys are amazing. Thanks so much for your constant support, and I look forward to seeing you guys again, and hopefully you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon. Take care. I just want to say I'm really glad you're feeling better, and I love the videos. Well, I love you too. Michelle. Shoot for the moon, and so even if you fail, you'll reach the stars. Go for the 100k subscribers. Yeah.